Hello, welcome to Mindful Moments, the video series which invites you to take a closer look at some of Bodman Keep's art collection using the principles of mindfulness. Make sure you feel comfortable and take a few deep breaths. Try focusing on your breathing and just let go of any other thoughts. When you're ready, have a look at this painting, which is usually kept in Bodman Keep's library. A painting with a person in it, called a portrait, often tells us a story. Unlike a quick selfie we can take on our phones today, portraits took many months to prepare and create, and every detail was deliberately chosen to be included. We can use these details to figure out who the person was and what their life was like. How do you feel about this person? Do you warm to them? Do you feel respectful? Perhaps you admire them? Perhaps they seem a bit aloof or detached from you? How old do you think they are? What is he wearing? How would it feel to wear these clothes? Are they tight? Stiff? Heavy? Hot? How would wearing them make you feel? Important? Brave? Perhaps confined or even anxious? What does the clothing tell you about his character and work? His uniform tells us he must be someone serving in the army. What rank of soldier do you think he was? Low or high? Why do you think that? Let's take a closer look at his uniform to see if we can figure out some of these clues the artist has left for us about who this person is. He is wearing a bright red jacket, which was characteristic of British Army uniform up until the late 19th century. This distinctive uniform gave British soldiers the nickname Redcoats. The British Army wore red so they could see each other on the smoky battlefields. The red dye that was used was also very cost efficient so they could produce lots of uniforms cheaply. The red coats then became an iconic symbol of British military strength, and they were worn to show off the army's bravery. Let's have a look at his white belt. If we look closely, we can see some Roman numerals on the metal tab on the lower right side. Do you know what the numerals LXI stand for? They represent the number 61. Soldiers often wore a badge with the number of their regiment on it. Therefore, this soldier must have been in the 61st Regiment, which was the South Gloucestershire Regiment. Now we know that whoever this was, they were alive sometime between the late 18th and 19th century, when the 61st was active. If we look further up the belt, we can see something unusual. There's the face of a lion, which is attached to a chain leading further down to a small silver box. What do you think this might be? The 61st had a light company. These soldiers fought by dispersing themselves, rather than fighting in tight formations like other regiments. A whistle, along with a bugle, would have been useful for officers to communicate orders across long distances. This type of whistle and chain got the name Inkerman Whistle in 1854, after the Battle of Inkerman during the Crimean War. Since only officers used the Inkerman Whistle, we are given a clue by the painter as to what rank this soldier was. 
he is also wearing decorative wings on his shoulders, which were only worn by officers. This portrait is of General Sir William Jones. The artist who created this work is unknown, but it was made around 1827 or even a few years later. Sir William was born in Wales in 1808. This portrait shows him as a young officer, aged only 19 or perhaps in his early 20s, in the 61st South Gloucestershire Regiment. How do you think he would have been feeling when this portrait was painted? He went on to have a very distinguished military career, rising through the ranks to general. He served for a long time in India and fought at the Battle of Chilianwala during the Second Anglo-Sikh War in 1849, a bloody battle with heavy losses on both sides and no clear victor. He later led a brigade at the Siege of Delhi in September 1857, another brutal campaign which helped bring about the end of the Indian Rebellion. He became Colonel of the 32nd Cornwall Light Infantry in 1871. He continued to serve as Colonel after the regiment was merged to form the Duke of Cornwall's Light Infantry, and right up until his death in 1890. Now you know a bit more about Sir William and his context, do you feel any differently towards this painting than you did when you first saw it? If so, how? Thank you for joining Bodman Keep for a mindful moment. We hope this has inspired you to try looking mindfully at artworks or pictures wherever you find them for a moment of calm.